What's going on guys? So today's video is gonna be a little bit kind of different. Um, this is a, another segment, a karate talk. And this is something that I've never really done before. So um, I decided to try it experimentally. Um, so for those of you who know, I have a friend. Her name is Christine. I mention her a lot on this channel. And I mention her a lot on this channel for a reason. It is because she is the one who inspired me to start my YouTube channel. And she's the one who inspired me to do martial arts related content on said YouTube channel. So I figured it would be a fun idea to send her some questions about herself in terms of martial arts and whatnot, since this is Karate Talk. And so, figure it'd be fun to send her some questions and get her response, get her responses. So I sent her seven questions, and you will be seeing her responses straight from her. She recorded a video with all the answers on it, and so you will be seeing her responses directly from her in this video. So, first question I asked her was, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background in martial arts and tell people how we came in contact. We, meaning me and her. And this was her response. Hi guys, so my name is Christine, also known as Cookie. Uh, that's my nickname because I really like cookies and I like to make people happy and give them a cookie and it puts a smile on their face. Um, so... I'm doing this interview for Mr. Braden, and he gave me seven questions to answer, so I'm going to try to answer them for you. If I look down, they're on my phone, so I'm not being rude. I'm just looking down to see what the questions are. So the first one, it says, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you, your background in martial arts, and tell the people how we came into contact. Um, well, me and Braden actually met on YouTube. We both do martial arts. Um, so that is how we found each other on YouTube, and we have been in contact ever since. Um, my name is Christine. Um, tell us a little bit about your background in martial arts and tell people how we met. Um, so I started out in Taekwondo, and I started doing that when I was about five years old, and I went. I was in the, the Taekwondo system um, until I was about nine or ten years old, and then I switched over to uh, karate. So I have kind of uh, a background in two of them. Um, and then I also did a little bit of kickboxing, though that wasn't my favorite. And then I've done a little bit of judo. That, that was not something that I did consistently. I learned taekwondo first, so that was my, my main system. And then I switched over to um, a karate-based system. The next question I asked her was... What is your favorite aspect of martial arts when it came to being in class and when it came to teaching and when it came to competing? She had some really good answers. This is what she said. Um, I really liked learning things. I really, I've always been really, um, I'm very inquisitive. I'm very curious. Um, and I like to learn new things. I like to learn how to apply them. I also like the creativity of it. Um, you, you can make it your own. I always enjoyed being in class. I liked, you know, being with the other people, having that experience. It was fun. It was motivating to have other people there with you. So that was that's some of my favorite things about being in class. Um, when it comes to teaching, this is, I love this. I, I've seen so many people come in and watch a class and watch people do things. And usually it will be, they will come in or like when people are sparring or doing self-defense, something that's very physical. And they'll be like, I could never do that. And they will like want to walk out the door. I've had people, you know, see me doing stuff or other people and they just get totally intimidated. And then, you know, when... When they come in and they start to realize, hey, I can do it, and, and you know, they're so proud of themselves, and, and I just love that when people realize they can do it, and it may not be the same as somebody else, but that there's so many variations to do just one thing, and I just I just love seeing when people realize that they can do it. You know, all this time they looked and they thought I could never do that, and then when they accomplish it, they're like, hey, I did this. Maybe I can. Maybe I can do this. And you know, it, it really boosts their their self esteem and their self confidence. And I love seeing that because there's so many people who get intimidated, and then you know, once they get out there and they work at it, and they're like, hey, I can do it. It's it's you know, it's maybe maybe it's not as hard as I thought. So that is one of my favorite things, is seeing people advance and seeing people grow as a person. 
And then when it comes to competing, I have not competed in a really long time. I was a very anxious competitor. I have anxiety. Um, when it came to sparring, sparring was my favorite part of competing. Sparring is my thing. I love sparring, but I was very anxious <laughs> with doing forms and stuff because everybody's eyes are on you. Um, it's better, you know, we used to go a lot as a school, so you had that support. I liked that. Sparring was definitely my favorite, though, because um, you didn't really have time to be anxious. You had to worry about getting kicked in the face. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, sparring was definitely definitely my favorite. I was an anxious competitor, though. You couldn't tell when I was sparring, though. I don't think anybody could really tell. Third question was, who are some of your martial arts inspirations, whether it be an actor, or an instructor, or a competitor? And I, I really enjoyed this answer because mainly a lot of it, a lot of them are mine as well. So, this is her response. I love Chuck Norris. I think everybody who knows me knows that I absolutely love him. I love him because he's awesome and I love him because of his humility and just like his personality and the way that he is. I respect him as a person and a martial artist. Um, and I, part of my, my love for martial arts came from watching Power Rangers and Walker Texas Ranger and Sammo Law, you know, all of those shows in the 90s. It was the best time frame. Um, I also, m one of my friends who passed away uh, seven years ago is also a, um, a big inspiration. You know, she was uh, very feisty and she definitely brought out her sass and that's something that I'm not as, uh, I'm not as good at bringing out the sass. So, you know, I, that was something that I, I looked up to her in a sense of, you know, I, I respected her as a person. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't really have a whole bunch of, of idols, I guess, but I definitely came to, to love martial arts. I mean, well, my friends, you know, they initially got me into it, and then I, you know, had really, I was always athletic. I really liked all of these shows that had all these fighting things in it, and I was like, I'm going to do that. But I would definitely say Chuck Norris is by far the number one. He's number one. I love The next him. question I asked her was, if you could learn any martial arts system in the world, which would it be, excluding styles you already know? And this kind of, this this question, I, I wasn't expecting this answer, but I kind of dig it. So here's what she had to say. Learned. Um, I think I would probably either want to do judo or jujitsu, just because I've been exposed to them a little bit. And I think it's good to have, you know, a, a background, like a, a diverse background. So I think I would probably want to learn a little bit more in those systems. This next question um, is, what are your dreams and goals for your career as a martial artist? Now, this was something, you know, it was, I was just curious because, um, because we came in contact through doing martial arts videos and on YouTube, as she said a couple clips ago. But we rarely ever talk about karate, which is why I think we have such good friendship, because I feel like if karate was all we talked about we wouldn't be talking on the level that we're talking right now and we wouldn't be we wouldn't be such good friends right now if that was all we talked about so the fact that we can talk about different things is I, I feel like it's a good sign but I also found this question kind of interesting because we hardly ever talk about martial arts or karate so I felt like this would be interesting just in terms of me getting to know her better this is her answer well, I really like teaching, so I think that would definitely be something that I would want to do more of. Um, beyond, I mean, I've always wanted to be like, oh, I could be like a stunt double or something. I mean, I would definitely consider doing something like that, even though it's probably not as realistic as teaching. Um, you know, I've done that before. I love teaching. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's hard work having to teach, but I, you know, I liked it when I did it, so... That is definitely something that I want to do more of. And hey, if I got to be a stunt double or something, it would be even funner. I know that's not a word, but we're going to use it because it sounds funner. This next question um, is another one that I asked just kind of for myself. Um, and I said, you often say that, we ha that you and I have similar styles. 
would you care to elaborate? Because she also uh, she always uh, when we do talk about martial arts, she always says that we have similar styles and whatnot, and she never really says what she means by that. So I asked her to kind of elaborate on that, and I feel like she has some good points. So here's her answer. This is hard for me to explain. I have a Shotokan. Okay, so I have a traditional um, Japanese and um, Korean st karate style, um, and then from South Korea is where um, the Taekwondo originated from. Um, you and I have very similar kicks. I mean, we call them different things, but the way we initiate them is very similar. And in other systems, they are so different. They say the same. They might actually have the same name for the kick, and I'm like, no, that's that's not a heel kick. That's a roundhouse kick, where it's like the total opposite. And I, I would just be like, what? I would be so confused. Um, but just the way that um, techniques are used, stances and and whatnot, they're they're very similar. And the way that we kind of um, incorporate them is also very similar even though I'm obviously we're not like the systems that we came into are very different um, and we both have different backgrounds but I think that the way that we do things is very similar last question is where can people reach you if they have questions about you or your martial arts background and that's what she had to say well um, you can ask me on Twitter. My, uh, my Twitter is OCD Cookie, or you can come to my YouTube channel, which is OCD Perfection or Cookie, and you can send me a message. You can, um, comment on a video, um, or that's probably the two, two best ways is contact me on Twitter, or you can contact me here on YouTube at... OCD Perfection or Cookie. If you type in either one of them, they will. All right. So those are her. Those are her responses to my questions. I will leave links to her YouTube and uh, her Twitter down below, so you guys can get a hold of her if you care to. Um, again, I just want to shout you out, Christine. Thank you for being such a good friend and helping me and being a big inspiration for me in my channel and. Uh, in martial arts in general you're an awesome awesome person thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it please like share comment subscribe all that fun stuff go check out the homegirl Christine check her out check out her videos subscribe and whatnot so I'll holler at you guys later peace so those are all of the questions that mr. Braden wanted uh, wanted me to answer so I hope they were sufficient I hope you enjoyed I hope it was fun and yeah